nigga, this valley power group niggas that strong on bringing you niggas together, knowing y'all don't like each other. You ain't seen them niggas together, nigga. Everything they did, nigga, I exposed. I think both you niggas is alike. Y'all the same. And then we hit them with the big U contracts. You ain't see. You ain't. That's how you know it wasn't real. It would have continued. They like, we go, nigga, you niggas. Jim, you ain't never did a song with Nipsey. You ain't never reposted nothing. You ain't never did nothing. Big U, you don't even like this nigga. Jim, you don't even like this nigga. I'm confused about what the fuck is going on. Little old me got y'all hopping up. What that supposed to do? Weak ass motherfucking interview. Y'all walking around. Got New York looking like that. Nigga, you know you didn't call this nigga all call out his name five nigga ways, Jim. Fuck out of here with this shit. And you let this nigga use you. Nigga, you what the fuck? What y'all blood about this doing? And shit start turning on Jim. You ain't seen Jim mention a big you. You know this Jim didn't come out to LA and go over there with Big U. Hell no. <laughs> <laughs> and he didn't been out here too. Facts. He damn sure had. <laughs> he called the homies. The homies called him. Jim out here whack. He wants to go to uh to the copper car and shit with him. I said, okay, y'all gonna be up there? I said, nah, we ain't scheduled to be there. Every day straight. I mean, what you talk to it. Man, go get your money, man. Your money, get a verse, get something out of it. Go and make the nigga feel safe. That's why I be laughing at the nigga. Nigga, you going to Long Beach for one, dummy. I don't give a fuck who you go out there with. And you calling the homies like they ain't gonna call me. But you in the backyard, I got a little politics here. Whole lot of politics here. That's why I be sitting back and I be watching these niggas. But I know half these niggas, like Jim. Jim reports he got a handler. He definitely got to have it, so we should be going on with some of these things. The world of mixed up and confusing thoughts is officially here with WAC 100. Now the topic is Jim Jones and his relationship with Big U. Although I find it very interesting that WAC jumps from topic to topic, without giving any conclusions or proof of anything that he throws out there, I can't deny that he is making sense and asking the right questions. Jim Jones never was showing love to Big U, Nipsey, or any other member from that hood. As soon as WAC had a problem with both Big U and Jim Jones, they decided to come together and build a fake bond. WAC exposes this perfectly, and he literally controlled their entire relationship from their reasoning for uniting to their reason for separation. 